guys, and welcome to Geek Beast. This is a part of the Geekish Network. This is your daily rundown of geek news from geeks that look like you. Geeks that look like me Meta is in the news again. So Meta released 50,000 alerts to users that have been targeted by surveillance for hire companies. What do you mean by surveillance for hire and how does this industry operate? This is a global industry of a whole series of companies operating around the world that build tools to target, to hack into people's phones and to surveil them online, to spy on them online. And then they sell them to whoever wants to buy them. This is something that's been announced to us by The Verge. Uh, so, um, I mean, are we surprised that our stuff is kind of getting hack hacked into a uh, little bit? No, not at all. Surveillance for hire. That's a little creepy, though. A lot of times people just want to be nosy or, you know, they just want to put you on an email list. But surveillance for hire, that's that sounds, I don't know, like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. type stuff. <laughs> um, oh, my bad, my bad. Uh, for, for those that are in the chat, yo, are you, are you feeling okay with, um, professional surveillance people checking in on you, finding out all your, your, your juicy metadata that happens to be on a service called Meta? That's, you see what I'm doing? I mean, I mean, it's out there anyway. It's out in them streets. So, I mean, people have to be okay with their data being shared. They make so much of it on the place that doesn't protect data. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, let's not pretend like like there was a service anytime at the internet that's saying, you know, what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a network and allow mm -hmm. you to travel, learn everything in the whole entire world, and protect you and your data, and mm -hmm. never ever make millions and billions of dollars off of it. <laughs> that was never said. Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, we're not going to do any of that. But here's a good thing, though. There is a little bit of a caveat. For us normal citizens of the Facebook slash meta community, more than likely you'll be all right. Some of the targets that these professional uh, 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 peepers, <laughs> were, who they were targeting, they included a journalist, uh, some uh, critics of authoritarian regimes, families of oppositions, and human rights activists. So the surveillance was uncovered in a month-long investigation in which Meta identified spying groups and removed them from the platform. So these companies are a part of a sprawling industry that provide intrusive software tools and surveillance service indiscriminately to, to any customer, regardless of who they target or the human rights abuse they might enable. So that was written by, the, by Meta's director of threat disruption, mm -hmm. David Argovich, and head of cyber espionage investigation, Mike, Mike Davinsky. He said the industry democratizes these threats, making them available to governments and non-government groups that otherwise would have these capabilities. So a uh, more detailed threat report released by Meta named six out of the seven companies and listed one of the entities as unknown, four of the seven Cobweb Technologies, Cognite, Black Cube, and Blue Hawk CI are based in Israel, with the other three in China, India, and North Macedonia. North Macedonia was not on my espionage bingo card, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but Man. some of the other countries, yeah, I can absolutely see that happening. Man, any part of the Ottoman Empire, the remnants of the Ottoman Empire, they're all over surveillance. They, <laughs> they ran surveillance. They used to own it forever in a day. Yeah. So I can see them being on it. I can see them being on it. This is really yeah. interesting because isn't it like the pot calling the kettle black? A little bit. Little, little, I'm little teeny tiny bit, that. and I'm happy, and I'm happy that she's found the humor in that with me. It's like <laughs> spying These on top of more are spying your data, or, 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 or doing surveillance on your data from the company that's been doing surveillance on us since we joined this network. Yeah. They were the company that made the decision. Hey, we're just gonna hop out of our network yeah. and go do everything you do on your phone. That's this yeah. company. Yeah, I mean, that's why I think Meta is the perfect name, because that what you just said is Meta in itself. And they're selling your metadata so that you can wear some mega glass meta glasses and walk in a metaverse. So yeah. it's just a lot of um, yeah, play on words with that. Uh, <laughs> that's so meta. So, what you did there is so meta. It's so, it's so meta. So hey, that's this so isn't. Meta. 
if, if you if you if you have been thinking that you have been safe all this time regarding the things that you do on social media, this is just one other example as to your information is getting out there. Um, speaking of information getting out there in a positive way, and this is probably due to the popularity of the platform, Final Fantasy XIV sales have been suspended due to the Endwalker serve due to the Endwalker server congestion. So new players will temporarily be unable to purchase and play Final Fantasy XIV or register for its free trials. So the company is suspending sales to help ease server congestion that many players have been experiencing since early December. Now, I think um, I think the phone could probably correct me uh, regarding I think this is the one that won the award, the award for best server. No, no, best uh, best ongoing game or something like that from the video games. Or I think I might be wrong on that. I'm sure I'm sure Carl will, will I, correct, I, I will correct me on that. Really quick. I will yeah. check. But uh, but this is really interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Is this a bad thing or a good thing that you're getting so many new uh, gamers coming onto your platform mm -hmm. that you can't support them? It's like yeah. it's, it's, it's like you had the hottest item in the store and it's yeah. spread in the store, but you had the fire marshal outside telling everybody not to come in. Yeah, I mean that's a lot. That's a lot of people hopping in, man, to like crash these servers, especially for a company that's already had to deal with server issues in the past. Um, so it said, um, as an apology, the studio was also upgrading its free subscription time, which it had previously given players due to the end walker congestion from seven days to 21 days, an additional yep. two weeks of play time. So um, I'm hoping that kind of like moves forward when the servers get back online. If you're curious about checking out Final Fantasy 14, maybe those 21 days will still be there for new users after they get everybody up and running. Uh, and then you can check it out and see what all the hype is. <laughs> we will see, cause I'm thinking it did win best ongoing game in 2017. That that's what it was. Okay, so yep. I knew it won, it won an award for one of the best ongoing games. So it's kind of yep. tough to have an award like that, and then you, your infrastructure is crashing all around you because I mean, because your game obviously is that it's hot, beloved. Man. It's beloved. It's, yeah, it, you know, it's yeah. That hot. You know, <laughs> they should say it's like, look here, players. We know you want to play. Mm -hmm. But you can't. This is this is an exclusive club. There's only tables in here. It's only yeah. table service. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna charge a premium for the missions to this club. <laughs> it's like we we well, the champagne room is closed. I think that's smart though. Let your let the people that are already in stay in. Make the adjustments to get those servers right to maintain those loyal people yep. that are already there from the jump. Put a pause on everybody else mm -hmm. because all that's going to do is just increase the demand too because everybody's going to want to know what the hype is. True. So, yeah. So, True. You know, service the customer first and then, you know, reap the benefits of having the hottest thing out. 